UT's Austin president is calling for more policing in the West Campus area following a shooting there on Halloween night. Police also responded to a convenience store yesterday in West Campus where a man threatened an employee with a gun. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell is live in West Campus where UTPD is already increasing their patrols. Well, it's important to remember that this is technically the Austin Police Department's jurisdiction, but because a, uh, DPS and UTPD are state agencies, they can respond here as well. UT police have significantly increased their coverage here in the West Campus area over the past year, and as of this week, they're adding more patrols. I do feel like it's already been known that West Campus is not the safest place to be in. But I just think the fact that there's been multiple um, accidents happening back to back, there could be something done. UTPD wants students to know officers are working on it, though the department's acting chief counters concerns about West Campus safety. We have to acknowledge people's feelings of, of, of being unsafe. It, the West Campus area is still technically one of the safest places safest area in, in the city of Austin. UTPD doesn't track crime in West Campus, but Chief Don Verrett believes increases in population density with more high rises may contribute to more reports of crime. To help, last year, the university gave the department $8 million to create the new policing district outlined on the west side here, staffed by UT officers around the clock, in addition to the Austin police officers already staffing that area. With that money, UTPD hired 11 more officers and two sergeants, installed halo cameras along the drag, and opened this satellite campus at 25th and Guadalupe, which is like a substation where people can check in with officers and file reports during the daytime hours. Verrett says at a minimum, there are usually three to four officers and a supervisor patrolling the district. Local businesses like Lucky Lab Coffee say they've noticed quicker response times and more community policing. They come and get coffee, they hang out, they get to know the students. Verrett says now the department's going a step further to add more officer presence using overtime hours. And so the, the, the criminals know there's somebody there. We're not trying to hide from them. We want them to know that we're there and we want to be visible. Last October, the governor ordered DPS to add its own patrols to help on West Campus. Chief Barrett says troopers are still regularly helping out in this area. He also says that he has regular communication with APD and DPS on patrols in this area. APD says that staffing has impacted its patrols all across town, but couldn't give me exact numbers on how many officers are generally patrolling this area on a regular basis. Live in Austin, Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. This push for safety increases, specifically with West Campus, can be traced to a high-profile homicide case, the murder of Haruka Weiser on campus five years ago. In the immediate aftermath, UT commissioned a safety assessment from the Department of Public Safety for gaps in security. It called for more officers at UTPD, upgrading video surveillance, better control of access to campus buildings, as well as better lighting in many areas. This also led to expanding these efforts beyond campus into areas where students live, particularly in West Campus. UTPD currently has nine patrol districts. That includes patrolling other UT lands, such as the Pickle Research Center in North Austin.